Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well today. If this is your first time here, hi, my name is Ileana and I am on my debt-free journey trying to pay off over $107,000 in student loans, car loans, and credit cards. And if you're a returning subscriber, hi, welcome back. I'm so glad you guys could join me probably for my favorite video of the month, my debt tracker update. And I'm really excited because if you guys saw my um, debt payoff video, which I'll link somewhere in the eye in the sky, you saw that I am officially done with JetBlue and I only have two credit cards left. I'm so excited and a little in shock. I, I just can't believe that I actually did it. <laughs> but I've been chugging along and I'm so close to being done with my credit cards. Woo. I'm just so excited. It's a strange feeling to see such a small amount of debt listed. So I'm probably going to have to go back and look at where I started last January and see where, how far I've come because I did do the compare, kind of like a comparison video from January to January, but it's like, I didn't like fully look at how much debt I had. I just saw the, the subtraction of the total amounts, but I didn't see the length. So I'm just so excited. <laughs> I'm so close to being done with my credit cards, guys. So close. But these two are the highest of my credit cards, so it might take me a little longer. I had planned to be credit card debt-free by April, but a little wrench got put into my, um, what's that expression? A wrench was thrown into the engine or got put in. I don't know what the expression is. A wrench was thrown in. So I'm probably going to have to push it back a little bit. I'm still going to try to go as hard as I can, but um, I'm probably going to not be done with this, with these two by April. Might be June, hopefully, or sooner. Just really depends, but I'm still proud of myself. So let's get going because I know you guys want to see the updated numbers. I know I do. So we have Merrick. Okay, so the balance from last time was 12.0708. Target was 16.6005. Naviant was 16.6005. Um, sorry, that was Target. And then Naviant was 12,357.31. Carmex was 12,794.80. Um, Naviant sub was 24,792.75. And the big mama is 53,768.65. But that was from, that of course was last, that was of course December's. So ugh, I can't wait to see what changed. I now owe for Merrick 1,104 dollars and 42 cents which is a much improvement i'd have to say the minimum payment is usually 43. i'm not putting minimum payment with the snowball in here because you never know what's gonna happen i just like putting minimum payments all right so target now target i owe 1000 Six hundred and forty three dollars and eighteen cents, which is a little bit of an improvement. It's well, actually, I think it went up from last month, but you know, interest and such. So the minimum payment for that is fifty, and then Naviant is twelve thousand. Three hundred and seven dollars and six cents, and the minimum payment is one thirty seven. It's actually surprisingly going down a little bit, a little bit at a time, but not by much. 
Then we have CarMax. CarMax is now $12,578.63. And this one is $307.19. Which they're getting like, they're only like $200 a, apart from each other. So there, I think I could. If my figures go well, I could be like a month away from paying these off between. Oh, I'm thinking too far ahead. I, pss, they ignore me. Ignore me. Because I'm thinking too far ahead. I, I have to focus on one debt at a time. So then we have Navient Sub, which is my second to biggest amount. And it's 24000 seven hundred and ninety two dollars and seventy five cents and right now it's at zero amount and then the big mama but big mama is worth fifty three thousand seven hundred sixty eight dollars and sixty five cents and it's been deferred so whoo those are my numbers and they look a little different from last time some of them went down some of them went a little bit up so we can't i can't really complain this went down a little because i put some money towards it but let's calculate it all up to see how much of a difference it is The grand total is one hundred six dollars a hundred and ninety four and sixty nine cents. I know I didn't say that right, but that is how much I still owe. But I'm now officially down another thousand dollars in my debt total and this number never looks so good. <laughs> and I'm very close, if you can see here, to being down to 105,000. So hopefully for next time I do my debt tracker, it will be down. So I am so excited. <laughs> I'm so close to being under 105. I'm getting so close to being under 100K. It's like a dream, a dream. Uh, I can't believe it. And before I go any further, I want to do the minimum payments, which come out to be $537.19. Can you guys believe it? I, I'm, I went down a thousand dollars. Oh, thank you. Stimulus check. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm so excited. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are hitting some milestones, please let me know in the description down below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button or hit the thumbs up, whatever you want to call it. And if you want to join me on my YouTube journey, please subscribe. I would love it if to, for you to join my YouTube family. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.